today, morning anchor McLeod Hageman has been discovering Door County and making himself at home, visiting new neighborhoods and getting to know the people. This morning, he joins us live from Ephraim, where he's learning more about the area. Mac, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, Noel. It is cold out here. It's the first official day of winter out here in Door County. I'm working to find some fun things to do throughout the area. That's why I'm in Door County this morning right outside sip and Ephraim. We're going to head inside in just a moment and get a nice warm cup of coffee. But first I wanted to point out how easy it was to learn more about the area just because the people are so in fact friendly. Take a look. Nestled in Door County overlooking Sturgeon Bay on South 3rd Avenue sits family owned and operated Morning Glory by the Bay where locals enjoy their daily coffee clutch catching up with friends over great food. Despite the open sign, it was the smell of freshly brewed coffee and sizzling bacon that brought me inside looking for places to visit. Yeah, thank you for letting me hijack your breakfast. I appreciate you. Right away, locals invited me to breakfast, sharing all things Sturgeon Bay and Door County. This is my very first time to Door County. What should I check out in Sturgeon Bay? This is our go-to place to come for breakfast. Why is that? It's, well, convenient and they're uh, regularly very good on everything that they present. You can count on your breakfast being good every time you come in. Sturgeon Bay native and area carpenter of 40 years, Sean Fairchild, telling me the colder months are just as fun, with fewer visitors passing through. Can you tell me what kind of feeling it is to live here year round? Winter's a total different experience, but it's beautiful. It's, I mean, anywhere in the, the county that you would go during the summer for the beauty that's there, the winter is the same. After locals let me sit down with them for breakfast and offered a long list of popular spots, they led me to the iconic waterfront where I got to cross the historic bridge and then see the boats docked at the Door County Maritime Museum. All of our local businesses down here, as much of the waterfront as you can possibly get onto and, and go check it out. I mean, it, it's not every waterfront community has large laker ships and barges and all kinds of stuff going through. Um, that's all here for you. Every, it's right at your fingertips. And I didn't have to look far to find every sweet treat you could ever imagine at the Door County Three Candy clusters. Store, where owner Terry Ullman says they're busy year-round. We're short-staffed like everybody, so um, it may have slowed down a little bit with you know, visitors, but it certainly hasn't slowed down here um, in terms of us trying to keep up. From the 12 different types of fudge, 90 varieties of chocolate, gourmet popcorn, and 60 types of taffy, okay, I literally felt sample. like a kid at a candy store. It brings out the kid and everybody, and the, the parents and the grandparents, and they, when they bring the kids, I don't know if it's more that they're bringing the kids to be a kid or they're bringing out the youth in themselves. After loading up on treats and exchanging numbers with my new friends, they offered a little insight to explore some more. The best advice I can give you is if you have time to spend up here, just drive. And that's just what I did. I got in the car and drove down the road, meeting friendly people along the way. And like I mentioned, there is something for everyone to enjoy in Door County, no matter what time of season it is. I was looking for a great spot to buy or even rent winter gear, so I stopped by Bayshore Outfitters. They have three locations in Algoma, Sister Bay, and Sturgeon Bay. Get this, daily rentals for skis and snowshoes start at just $12. Then it goes up. 15 bucks if you're planning to rent equipment and then return it the next day. So associate Amanda Brooker says everyone loves Door County in the summer and fall, but winter is her favorite time. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I love the outdoors. I, I love helping people have fun in Door County. You know, there's more than just shopping and restaurants that it's, it's a beautiful part of Wisconsin and I hope that people come up and enjoy it during the snow season. And Brooker tells me they have a Grow With program for kids. That means parents can buy a package and then Bayshore will fit your child with skis, boots, and poles every single season until your child reaches the adult sizes. I've made sure to put all of their contact information over on our website at NBC26.com. Again, I'm just beginning to discover the area and I'd love to explore some more. So please let me know. Please reach out to me with good spots to visit in the coming months. Uh, again, you can reach out to me on social media. 
find me on Facebook as well. But for now, Noel, I'm going to send things back to you in that warm studio. And I'm going inside and, the, and uh, getting a warm cup of coffee here as well. So back to you. All right, McLeod, sounds like a plan. We'll be right back. But first, let's hear from Mr. Food.